Hey, I want to welcome you to the Clock Watcher this morning, and uh, great to have you along with us. We've got a special guest in the studio with us, Sarah Scheiber, uh, in the house with us. Hey, Sarah, good hey, to have you along. Good morning. Thank you. I uh, appreciate your coming in and stopping by with us. As you may know, uh, Sarah's got a brand new song that we're getting uh, great success with on the radio, Wishing Time Away. And uh, first, congratulations. What a, what a great, great song this is, Thank and you're really getting some great response uh, on the radio. Wonderful. How did the how did the song I'm always interested uh, come about? Uh, there's there's a message obviously in that in that in that uh, song that really touches a lot of people. Well, I'm not sh- sure how familiar you are with uh, the entire story, but um, I actually grew up in Traverse City. This mm-hmm. is home base for me. I uh, went to school here, graduated from. At that point, there was one one high just school. One. There yep. was just one, <laughs> so I graduated from Traverse City and uh, got married and. I had a wonderful marriage, and I tell people in concert that, you know, 21 months ago I was living the American dream. My husband, Chad, had just been named Officer of the Year for the Midland Police Department down in Midland, Michigan, and uh, I had just launched my solo ministry with a brand new CD called Gratitude, and everything was just going great for us. We were planning to go into full-time marriage ministry. And on October 7th of 2007, Chad collapsed and died as we were running the Chicago Marathon together. And so the song Wish and Time Away was birthed out of that. The truth is, is that on October 7th, after I had been to to the hospital to ID his body, uh, I was being escorted through the streets of South Chicago in the back of a police car. And... Here I am, a a 33-year-old widow with three small children that I have to go home and tell the news of their daddy. And I remember sitting in the back of that police car thinking, I know time is going to heal our hearts, but right now it feels like the enemy. Mm -hmm. You know? Yeah. In one heartbeat, literally, one heartbeat, when Chad went home to be with his Savior, Jesus Christ, time became my enemy. And I had the the knowledge of life, of knowing that time is going to heal. It, it is. But I knew that now the seconds were just dragging by and that the journey we were on was going to be a very long one. And I have to ask, uh, the 21 months, obviously, yeah. it is, there's been a healing process there. Yeah. Uh, but I'm sure it's still an ongoing process. Oh, very ongoing. Yeah. Yep. We still have many days that we cry um, for my kids the grief is still a um, a real process, a real reality to them because, uh, you know, I purposed on October 7th in the back of that police car. I said to myself, I am going to grieve and I'm going to grieve hard. Chad and I were best, best friends. We were deeply in love. I tell people we were more in love the day he died than we had ever been. And we worked hard to to be able to say that, you know, it didn't just happen that sure, way. Yeah. Marriage takes a lot of work. We built our marriage on Christ. We built a foundation for our marriage. And so we were very much in love and the best, best of friends. And I purposed in that police car, I am going to face every bit of this. I'm going to hit it head on because I knew in order for the kids and I to ever be whole on the other side that we had to face it all and go through it. Um, but for my kids, that process has been a lot longer and it took my youngest, he was only six when Chad died. It took him nine months to even begin to grieve. So now 21 months into it, they're still very much in the process of grieving and, and so am I. I mean, life is, um, really turning a corner for us. It's very good. We have very exciting news in our life and, uh, lots of good that the Lord has brought along, but, I tell you what, we still grieve and miss him every every single day. I'll bet so. you do. Mm-hmm. Well, you know, it really comes out uh, in the song, and, and uh, oddly enough, we had somebody recently who uh, was going through a uh, through a funeral process themselves, and they called the station and said, could you suggest a couple songs mm-hmm. that you could use for a service? And I said, boy, you know, there's one that just came across my desk. It's oh. new. It probably is not familiar to you, but I'm going to send it to you because I want you to listen to it. And, and I believe that was the song, uh, Wishing Time Away, that they ended up uh, choosing for the service. Wow. So oh, wonderful. Yeah. So uh, the, the song is not only doing healing for you, but healing yeah. for others as well. Well, you know, it's interesting. Um, I've had the discussion recently with a friend of mine that 
You know, the 23rd Psalm is so familiar to to many people as we are going through a grieving process. And it says, yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death. It doesn't say run. It doesn't say hop or skip or, you know, move as fast as I can through it. And one of the hardest parts for me in my grieving process was the judgment of others looking in upon my process and Mm -hmm. my journey of grief that I found they really wanted to hurry me through. And, you know, I think God does allow us time in the healing. And God never expected me to run through that valley. God was there for the days of questioning him. God was there for every step of me saying, Lord, I'm so mad at you. You could have saved my husband, but you allowed this. God was there for my kids asking the tough questions, and uh, he could handle all of that, and he allowed us to take the time we needed to walk through that valley. And mm. we live in a society of instant gratification, and I, I found three months into my grieving that people wanted me to hurry up and be happy when really my grieving had just begun because the shock was wearing off and reality was setting in. Yeah. Yeah. And, and they don't know, and if they're not in your shoes. They sometimes yeah. there's that thing to stand back and go, "Well, she should be moving through things now." Yeah. Well, if you're not there, you don't really you know don't what it's know. like to go through that. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you. Let's listen to Sarah's song right now, and then we'll be back to talk with her a little bit more here on the Clock Watcher this morning, right here on WLJ. I don't see it now, but you let me know somehow. There is purpose in the pain, so I'm believing on your name. And I'm wishing time away I'm looking for the day When your hope breaks through the sky And lets me know that it's okay So I will hold on to your love And I will lean on what you say That your promises belong to those who Thank you. 